Welcome to the stage, playing metal, Ichika Ito. <laughs> I swear he's playing Major 7s in there. Major 7s ain't metal. <laughs> that's so, uh, that's so Ichika for you. I th think that was 100% his normal style, just in a metal genre. I think he was playing jazz and, like, neoclassical. Just on a 7 string? Two, three, four, five. On a 7 string? With, uh, heavy-ass drums and moving everything down so that we had these cool low riffs on the open B. I would, I mean, am I supposed to add more? I don't think so. I don't think so. He played it. Is it metal? Yes. But is it jazz? I think it might actually be, it might actually be jazz. In metal. Also, I would like to shout out the fact that his guitar is super fucking cool and it's not a lockdown. Whenever I'm looking at a super cool guitar and I'm like, I, I should buy that. I'm like, well, if, it's got, if I'm going to pay that much money, I might as well get one with a lock and tremolo, which then I don't want to use. So I'm like, does everything need a whammy bar? No, it doesn't. And then now when I tune, it's like harder than it should be. So shout out for a super cool guitar that would normally always have a lock and tremolo, but doesn't on this one. Oh, he says, I play metal question mark. No. Nope, I think you tricked us. I think it sounds like metal. I don't think it's metal. How about that? How about that? Well, I mean, it's jazz metal or something. Neoclassical. No, it's not neoclassical metal. That's like Yngwie Malmsteen. It's... It sounds like... It sounds like a duck. It quacks like a duck. That ain't no duck. That's not a duck. That's a cat. It's a cat who's learned to sound like a duck so it can catch ducks. I stand by that. I stand by that argument. 